Hello guys, it's Alon over 20 here and welcome to a new episode uh, of a new series called Mini Redstone Tutorials. Woo! And what this series is going to be is basically me showing off mini redstone machines and contraptions that can help you and make your life a whole lot easier when designing your own huge machines. So yeah, th basically this, this series is going to be uh, taken down to three parts, okay? First part is construction. Second part is going to be how it works. Third part is going to be uses, practical uses. So let's get started with the first uh, first segment, which is construction. Okay, so to, to construct this, what you need to do is you need to start off. Uh, I'm just building it up high so you can actually understand, what's, uh, see what's going on. Basically, you need to have a piece of redstone, and it can be, uh, it needs to be going into a block which is above a sticky piston, which has a repeater after it, facing out. And uh, yeah, this is the construction part. Okay, it's that simple. What this actually is, I don't think I mentioned. <laughs> you should see in the title though. It's a mono-stable circuit, which means a one-tick pulse generator. Basically, you you get a button or, and any signal you put in, even a torch or a lever, look, um, I'll put a lever right here, it becomes a one tick pulse. So yeah, that's more of an explanation of what's going on. So that's how you build it. And now, uh, the explanation of how it works. Okay, so how it works. Basically, it's very, very simple. If you have a piece of redstone going into a block which is above a piston and then afterwards have this repeater right here the redstone signal will have just enough time to go into this block and this repeater will pick it up but at the same time it also powers this block this one right here this one which powers this piston which in turn makes this block go up so the signal is cut off which basically makes a one tick pulse, which is just a super, super fast pulse. And yeah, that's how it works. Now, note, if you do this, this will no longer work because the redstone actually needs to be going into the block. And something that a lot of people don't know, if you place just a single, sig uh, single redstone like that, it's as if it's going in all four directions. So it'll also power this block as you can see i'll put a repeater out here and you can see the rep this repeater does turn on which means it's powering this block as well and it's powering this block so yeah so that's the explanation of how it works next is practical uses okay for one practical use is a t flip-flop if you do not know what a t flip-flop is don't worry i'm going to cover it in a future episode Basically, I'll give you a quick explanation. What it is, is it uh, basically turns a button press into a continuous signal, which means one button press to turn it on, the signal on, and then one button press to turn it off. So yeah, this works on a bug with uh, sticky pistons. If you give a sticky piston a one tick pulse, uh, it'll leave the block out and another tick pulse will it'll bring it in so what you can do is make a T flip-flop basically you have an output which can do all sorts of things I don't know uh, maybe turn this on or uh, launch uh, do a node block I don't know but basically you for one click you get a continuous signal so yeah that's only just one practical use. There are many more, but I'm just gonna name this one. You can also use it for timing things and other and other stuff like that. But I'll I will get to that in future episodes. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed this first episode of uh, mini redstone tutorials. Uh, please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you want me to do next. And uh, yeah, just note I am on the latest snapshot while recording this. So yeah. Uh, slime block features uh, and everything like that are included in this uh, series. So yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye!